Hello YouTube world, MacDaddy1911 here with the Shade Tree Survivalist. Don't know why I have not been doing videos on the progress on the camouflage on my gear. Um, God, I've been busy as all get out. I've got videos that are upcoming. <laughs> it will be up before this one, I'd imagine. But I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, Mike M0331, U.S. Marine Corps. Um, gave me a, a hint the other day. Camo had already told me about it, and I was going to get some and try it. But after he told me about it, he said he used shoe goo <laughs> to um, add camouflage to his gear without sewing it with a machine. I'm trying this stuff out. Now, this is Beacon brand Fabri-Tac permanent adhesive for clothing. It bonds fabrics, lace, glass, leather, wood, and trims. Grabs fast and dries clear. Acid free and washable. We're going to see how it works out. I hope it works out right because, brother, you can see right there is the top of my old M14 mag pouch. I've still got to secure the sides, but I'm waiting on the rest of it to dry. I've added some to the front. Here's one of the flashbang grenade pouches so far. I have not finished it. Another M14 original mag pouch. Still working on it. Just letting it dry as I add it. Um, this back piece here. Let me see if I can straighten it up a little bit. Maybe you can see. Okay, let's do it this way. This is the right side. You can see I camouflage. I use fabric paint to camouflage that. This is the original flashbang grenade pouch. Un unadulterated so far. If I get it in the dang gum camera. This is the right side of the chest panel where the two magazine pouches are at. Um, and I've I had sewn some pieces on those. Okay, you can see there. But pretty much so far it's still unaltered. Um, went in, I camouflaged and taped up the excess on the straps and the buckles. And that's gorilla tape. It's not no jump. But you can see this side, the old magazine pouches, the M14 mag pouches, the new London Trading Company mag pouch. Another one that I've started on, you can see I've added a piece. It goes around the top. That's all I've got to, on it so far. Another one of the original mag pouches. This is what I've added so far. The other new magazine uh, flashbang grenade pouch and you can see it has really been altered the other M14 mag pouch okay still a work in progress we're working on it we'll get it squared away here in just a little bit but I wanted to do an update the top of it and it's secured everywhere except for here and on this side here and I haven't made up my mind exactly how I'm going to do that um okay i know this is a jumble and it's hard to understand what you're looking at this is the front of the belt this is the bottom buckle on the chest rig this is the top buckle goes up near near the collarbone or near the uh, center of your chest up near your neck almost um, you still got quite a bit but you can see these two mag they, these two pouches I've added a little black to this, but that's all I've done to it so far. I've added a big piece of this. I'm going to add some of that glue to it, but that's sewn on very well. I've added this piece just a minute ago, and I've got it um, glued on. The shoulder straps, that's what we had turned it over for. Okay, I've sewn this piece on. Okay. I've sewn these on. And this piece on. And then, now this would be the left-hand side. I'll, sh I'll put it on here in a little bit and demonstrate it, but I'm still, I've am still i got to wait till the glue dries, and I just wanted to do an update. I've added this piece of sew to piss out of it. This piece is sewn on to the mag pouch, and this piece, okay? And that one actually sticks way down past the mag pouch onto the little loop, the little handle. And then up here, you've got all those pieces. Now, the good thing is, watch this. Oh crap. The good thing is, as you can see, it's sewn to the strap itself. 
so the backpack straps can or the camelback straps either one can go right under there you can snap it back over snap it down and the way it hangs down it obscures the buckle and all and the this uh, this is a piece of felt and Kim was suggesting I use it um, and the burlap the hessian is sewn directly to it and then I've sewn pieces out here to the side so there's no straight line it's, it's a nice bump right there let me zoom in on that I know this is probably gonna be a terrible update video it's all the movement of the camera um, I haven't done anything to the tops the back side of the top of the shoulders because of the backpack okay that's the reason I made the little cape so it just it'll cover every bit of this up matter of fact it'll cover that bottom piece but I went ahead and added that bottom piece anyway and I did a video on it and that video is probably going to be broke down in two or three parts with the sewing machine and I wound up breaking a damn needle and I have not got back to it because of the the beacon fabric paint okay now the only thing is, is it does dry clear but it's shiny now if you guys buy some of this extremely flammable contains acetone liquid and vapor may ignite okay read your freaking directions come on tenfo roger you use this crap in a house where there's no ventilation you will die or it will cause severe headaches and you i mean it'll make you sick use this crap outside and the weather has not cooperated it's either been nasty and raining or it has been extremely cold for this part of georgia at this time of the damn year and Mac Daddy just ain't wanting to get out in it. Um, with this, now, I've been raking the yard and all kinds of other different kind of things around here, but I just didn't want this to get out here. I don't think it would, you know, it's freaking 20 degrees. I just don't think it would dry that quickly. But anywho, this is an update, and I'll add more to it. Thank you for watching.